Prices fall 10% overnight because there's a bunch of manipulation in the futures market. Oh, by the way, oldest trick in the book, right? Oldest trick in the book. If you want to buy a lot of something, what do you do? Do you go out and start buying it? Hell to the no. You sell some, you tell everyone how much it sucks, you short it, you push the price down so you can buy more at a lower price. It's the oldest trick on Wall Street. I Matt mean, tell a story all the time. Dwight Anderson, he went to Julian and he said, hey, Julian, we should buy a bunch of copper. Here's all my analysis, all stuff. And Julian's like, yeah, that's, that's great. He said, all right, how much should I buy? He's like, no, I want you to sell 50 million. And then I want you to tell the New York Times that we're selling. And I want you to tell everybody at Morgan Stanley how much it sucks. Then we'll buy after the price goes down. Mark. Yes. Yeah. What a weekend. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. <laughs> kind of ride we've had over this weekend, ladies and gentlemen. It is quite quite the ride there, FOMO. Hello, Tim. FOMO. What's how happening? You? Just so you know, if this was a roller coaster, OSHA would shut it down. This would be the best roller coaster in the history Listen of the world. Listen to me. The wheels if are coming a roller off. Roller coaster. OSHA would shut this down. I love it. Shut it down. There's too many whoop de woos. Not enough straights. That's right. Too much. Too much. It's like this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, there we are. What? What? I, I, I had to go to the doctor to get fake tears. I have actually drained my tear ducts. They're gone. Yeah. There you go. Hey, what, again, here's our crew already blasting off already. Hold on. Let me. uh. Get your app, right? Get your app. Thanks, everybody. That I was watching. Uh, there you go. There's some, well, somebody in Atlanta. It just blasted off. But uh, get your app out. Yeah, let me get, app, yeah. Right? Here it comes out of Connecticut. Connecticut. Dang, Boom. Look at that. That's good. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Sometimes so that gotta, reaches out to you. Definitely well, has my friends in Jersey. Hey, I would always. You from the West Coast. Pay attention. Here we go. We just firing it off. Make fire, sure you go. Fire, fire, fire. Fire. Oh, Arizona? Arizona just fired. There it, it is. Oh, yeah. I see there you it go. a little bit. I see it out there. My bad. There's some Jersey. I think it's Jersey. Here comes uh, Atlanta. Here it comes. Bam. Oh, that was a general explosion. Look out. I just I just uh, locked it up for the generals. And there you Lock go. It up. Lock Drink it up, up, everybody. Lock Drink it up. up. Beautiful. Beautiful. But, yes, quite the weekend. There's a lot of, lot of excitement in this space. Can I tell you how my weekend was? How was your weekend, John? This was like a Bitcoin moment for me. Okay. I'm, I'm at work. We're doing a charity event for all in autism. Raised yeah. a lot of money. And also my brother says to me, and I quote, hey, the steam table's arcing a little bit. I wonder what's up. Oh. Yeah. You see it? That's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. That's that something. That is uh, a melted uh, cap. Uh, you know, so my brother gets in there, ta -ta -ba, ba boom, ba bing, it's fixed. Wow, Seattle, Seattle letting loose. So I'm letting you know that kind of weekend we had, and I did cry a lot. I'm tired of crying, Ray. Well, yeah, you my should've... knees are hurting me too, Ray. I've been praying a lot. There you go um, on the floors. Uh, I'm, I've had enough. You should have recorded the crying. We could have used it. You know, you really want to see FOMO cry? Redone that. <laughs> <laughs> And then Hatsack says, Hatsack goes like this. Why are, you, why are you in a mood? Why are you in a mood? Maybe you should go on uh, CoinGecko and let me know why I'm in a mood. Yeah, well, it's not a mood. It's good. Hatsack, she goes, hey, you want to go out to dinner? No, I don't want to go out to dinner. <laughs> I want to Uber? No. No, no Uber. Uber Eats. It is. It's uh. It's you know, but that's part of volatility is important, John. We need West it. Coast. You, know, you explain that to me, Ray. It's it's necessary, right? It's, so is death. Death is necessary too. No, be too many people. Not even close to the same thing. You're not even. It's apples and apples and oranges. It's not well, you even, say necessary. I'm just saying. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why we want to see Bitcoin out. go like this. Do you have that Bitcoin guy? Oh yeah, you you were hoping here. Is this what you're hoping? For? What I'm hoping for constantly. <laughs> Let me see where he... Oh, I don't even know where he's at. Hold on. Uh, you lost him already. I oh, know. There you go. 
needed him to fall off this time. We, he, hey, listen to me. Yeah, that guy, he's looking for $501,000 for one Bitcoin. <laughs> he's not falling off, Ray Ray. But I'm letting you know, I'm not asking for much. I'm just looking for the steady climb. That's 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 right. It is. Well, we haven't been getting steady climb, FOMO. We're over 100% over the year, okay? That's yeah. not a steady climb. That is a rocket ship, okay? So well, this rocket ship needs some more fuel because it hiccuping. It's going. Well, hey, hey, John, guess what happens in five days, right? What does that? Tell me, Ray Ray. What? what happens in five days, FOMO? I Ray have Ray. a sense what's happening. Nine hundred to four fifty a day. That's what that, happened. That, let me let, let me ask you this: Did you watch the the opener of the show? Yeah. Or you said the oldest the oldest trick in the book. Yes. Before you want to buy it, you make everybody think that it's, you know, everybody's like, ooh, the happening, and everything's going down, and they go, yeah, it's not going to happen. It's vapor. It's, you know, don't bother. Don't get it. Because they're going to come in, and they're going to come in hard because they know the happening's coming. Well, Ray and I were talking about this earlier, Tim, which you said, Ray, right, right? You know who's not selling? BlackRock. BlackRock didn't sell one Bitcoin, you no. paper hand crazy people. That's why we started it like that. We called it the fiat zombies. Don't be a fiat yeah. zombie. Don't be a, don't be a fiat zombie. That's right. Let me get this. Uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll bring the map up. But uh, yeah, everybody's blasting off. Everybody's checking in. Great stuff. Let me uh, go through the chat. We got chats going. Good evening, gentlemen. Ready for another intro? Yes. Thank you, Sue. It's been a great, crazy weekend. And uh, thanks for joining us. Good evening. Let's have some cake. Uh-oh. You got some cake. <laughs> Hi, cake. Eat some cake. Have, have some cake. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, Lord. Hey, nobody ever turns down cake. Have some kind of come, like have cake. Like, yeah. <laughs> Happy Monday, the Krypton Chaos. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Monster. Monster Monday to all. Absolutely, Mayo. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Good uh my Monday all. Thank you, Jason. Good, good, good Monday. Okay. Yeah, he was a little, he's a little. I was wondering because I was uh struggling, but thank you. There you go. Got it, Jason. Thank you for joining us, brother. Drink up. That's right. They were already drinking up. up. Right now. Drink we up. saw the map. Everybody was drinking. They were already uh, uh you know partaking. Magnificent Monday of having week. It is having week. This should be like a holiday all week, FOMO and Tim. Yes. Thank That's you, Dan. Just... Happy Monday, wise guys. Happy Monday, Floor. Thank you for joining us. It's, it's ha half a holiday. That's the FOMO cartoon. That is it right there. <laughs> you know what what I'm yeah, I love it. We got some more. We got a good cartoon too, Austin. Got a nice, nice little explainer about Bitcoin, right? Yes. GMGN, ready for another amazing learn. Learning week, right on, my crypto adventures. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. Cren Beast, it's a great day when I can hear that FOMO voice. Look at that. Yeah, that's right? a great day is a whole adjective. <laughs> it's a, it's a, that's a subjective. Cren Beast, Cren Beast is in the uh, Telegram asking asking for nuggets to go uh -oh. with the dip. Oh, go with the dip that's out there. There you go. He needs more nuggets to go with the dip. More nuggets. Love it. Or go higher. He wants to uh, also just wants to go higher. There you go. Oh, look, our, our thank yeah, just throw those those dates out. That's great, Deborah. Thank you. <laughs> She's trying yeah, my, that's a subtle 15. reminder, Ray. That's a subtle reminder to you, Ray. <laughs> Don't forget our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going on this fine Monday? Great, Bobby. Good to see you, brother. Thank you, thank you. Michelle, GM Bob, GM to you, Michelle. Thank you, thank you for joining us. Eating the dip. That's right, Creme Beast. You should. That's why I like, you know, being being in the group, being in the community. It's very important, right? Because other people are are losing losing their marbles right now, right? But uh, we know what's going on. It's all good. That's why we started that this way, right? I do yeah. say this too. For some reason, I need possibly a massage because my neck is kinking. It can't, this right here, right here, it's Bitcoin. This oh. Bitcoin here. This is Ethereum right here. This not. Is Ethereum, and I got another two knots for something else. But I'm letting you know, I'm tense. There you go. Well, I'm, tense. I'm looking at a new place that does the Y strap. You know, that puts the thing on your head and then pulls your head off. I'm yeah. looking at that because I need to be adjusted, right? Yeah. Well, you need to go then. Get after it, there, FOMO. Appreciate right? you, man. Yeah, I have wellness. Wellness for uh, FOMO, right? I like wellness. It. There you go. But yes, uh, please, yeah, please donate towards uh, FOMO's FOMO. wellness journey. Please um, send it to uh, codechasers. Uh, I'm a codechaser. Hey, just want to let you know this is the chip I picked up. Can you see it close? Oh, nice. Yeah, Gambling will always get you out of all in for autism charity poker tournament. Oh, 
It's beautiful. Oh, you know, that's the only chip I got. Uh, I came in top 25, gets a seat. I came in 27. <laughs> 27. Uh, what do you say that life? Uh, close, but no cigar. You're the regular that's, 239. There that's you go. like being yeah, 239 is what I was going to say. Yes, it was a shout out to Ty. Uh, I was that close. There I you felt go. like the guy, the fisherman with the dollar on the end. Oh, yeah. almost got it. Oh, that yeah. was a cartoon. I was that close. What was that? Art? Yes. Get smart. I was Get smart. Get I smart. missed it by that much. <laughs> there you go. That's it. There's FOMO. <laughs> it's exactly right. Let's do this. Cotty. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And there we go. Z Breezy. So Happy we're going to be talking about some zombies, Ray. Oh, yeah. The zombies are just the apocalypse of zombies are killing. Well, you, what you do, you, the zombies need to snap out of it, right? Don't don't be a, a fiat zombie, right? It's uh, it's OK. And right. You get we're going to go through um, again what you have to kind of be prepared for and what's going on. Great week. And uh, yeah, thank you, Z Breezy. And uh, let's get after you. You guys got anything before I uh, jump into it or no? I, I prep nothing. I gave you nothing. I got I got this one thing. I, I like the way it looked. Oh, you got one okay. thing, Tim? I, I got, got nothing. Thing. Hold on a second. Hold on. I got something. Look at this. Look at this. Look at yeah. this. Chip. He's, got, poker. he's got a loser chip. I got at least a story about uh, okay. Hong Kong approved oh, yes. Bitcoin and Ethereum spot ETFs. Yep. Yeah. Giga bullish. Giga bullish. We got a, yeah, we got Ethereum. That? Yep, absolutely. It's huge. Big day yeah. today. Yeah. yeah, so we 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 reported on that that it was coming, and yes, it arrived. Look at them, both of them at the same time. Both, yeah. like why oh, why, why waste time? Yeah, well, when you can when you can do whatever you want over there, that's you know that's key. <laughs> when you're full on, you know, control, that's great. No, but yes, man, that's huge, huge, huge news, right? Josh, what's up, everyone? Best show on Web three. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you, my man. And uh, yeah. There you go. Let me get into they this. They don't want to miss out on the uh, candles. No, no. They, well, they're going to have their yeah. They're going to have their day. I mean, Asia is uh, is 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 ripe for it, man. Um, oh, yeah. It's not like it's not like they haven't been building either, right? That's what I'm saying. It's funny that people think that the, everybody's just sleeping on this. Um, a lot of people are dialed in, and they're just making their moves, right? Like the guy just said, it's it's this is the oldest trick in the book. That's just manipulation, right? There's so much more. That people they don't roll their you know all their and throw their cards out there right. Everybody sees what's uh, what's going on. The the second movers uh, usually big winners. So we'll see. You know, kind of crazy stuff. Let me see what we got here. Am I on? Okay. Hey, big news, Solana. Oh no, that's you. Hold on. That's me. There we go. Did you know Solana made their update today? Yeah. No. I, I hope they can uh, you know stay up with it. Hey, well. <laughs> It is. It's not. It did. It didn't fix everything. There you go. Right. <laughs> it didn't fix everything. But they they did say the fifteenth. So they made their their um you know their date. Um. So a lot of failed transactions have been happening on Solana. But the what's this saying is that it's turning the corner, right? Hey, can, can you go back to that title real quick? Yeah. I'm gonna use this. Okay. What's this? FOMO head update. He brings the first level of fixes in his personality to be more charming. It's just the Step of fix. Don't expect too much. There's many fixes to come. I'm not going to tell you how many fixes. I'm not going to tell you if there's like another 150 fixes. I'm not going to tell you really what I fixed. But just the first set of fixes. There, but there's a, there are fixes going on. Is that what you said? What the killing? I'll, I'll, I'll give you another example. Ray Can goes on example, his I, I, Ray goes on his anniversary dinner next week or whenever yeah. it is, and uh, and and Deborah slides over a nice watch. And Ray goes, "Oh, I got you this uh, this uh, bobby pin thing, you know. But it's only the first gift. You'll get your real <laughs> gift when it comes in. It was late shipping. Don't worry, there'll be more. It's an update. There's updates coming. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> well, what about a picture? Like, remember, like a photocopy? Right. This is a photocopy of right. the watch that I just ordered. But even though I knew it was a birth, it, the bing, the bomba bing. Oh. Hey, it's, it's coming." I ordered it on the Solana network. So <laughs> yes. I, I, I called on my Solana phone to Solana Amazon. It's a little bit on the late side. Solana, there was, there was an impl implementation bug. Yeah. yeah. It Don't blame me. I order 38 times in a row, Ray Ray. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I still love you. Yeah, love you, man. It's all good. Still failing. Don't worry. <laughs> there you go. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. John, hey. good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And I'm I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready for ETH, uh, yeah, to start. Solana is my, my nemesis. There you go. And there you go. See, Deborah's laughing. It's all right. Oh, yeah. You know, it's all good. 
But yes, um, they did do the update, but uh, it is just like Kren just said, it is uh, still having um, some failures with the transactions, right? But they, uh, Anza, the dev team that spun up the Solana Labs earlier this year, announced overnight that the uh, version 1.17.31 release of the Agave validator client, which is run by the computers that support Solana network, was released with the initial fixes for the congestion issues. Mm. But um, again, fully didn't you know fix everything right this contains the first round of solana mainnet congestion updates which everyone has been waiting for um there are additional updates coming mm -hmm. it is important to note uh this is not version 1.18 which will have further improvements and there you go maybe, just maybe, like you Joe. yeah maybe huh? we should all have different versions or so right. i'm probably yeah. version 1.372964.c that's, that's right. my version we're all waiting for the version two is that what you're saying it ain't coming out for a while. <laughs> it's, 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 it's delayed. It's backlogged. <laughs> no, it's delayed. I'll it's let delayed. you know when it comes out. There you go. But, you know, hey, um, again, hopefully uh, it's making progress, right? And this is uh, saying to upgrade ASAP. That's what they need, upgrade ASAP. And, uh, you know, we'll see. The No official timeline has been set for this version 1.18 <laughs> upgrade, Right. But, hey, I seriously, it. I know we're making jokes and all, but technology, man. I know, but here's the way it works. I love the gas fees. I mean, when I seen the gas fee for Solana, I'm like, that must be a misprint. What is that? Like right. eight cents? What is that? Yeah. Charge me more. Give me a better product. You don't have to go Ethereum way, but charge me five bucks. I know. Well, Ethereum, that's why, again, um, it's a very substantial chain right i mean it's, it's it's not number two for just no any old reason right, right. i get uh, you brother yeah the, the problem is is their fees right but they fixed it somewhat with the blobs right but uh you know there's still things to be done with there i, I, you know? I appreciate that thanks for bringing that to the table ray ray happy monday all looking for more chips to go with those <laughs> yeah absolutely george it is uh fomo's implementation fix there you go yeah, we'll I like get, get upgrades thanks george appreciate you george let's see here best. right here, Bitcoin stuff there, right? I know a lot of people have been hearing about these BRC20 token, right? The runes are runes to blame, but uh, it has plunged as well, all before the halving. These fungible token uh, uh, tokens see prices drop ahead, heading into the pivot, pivotal week for the crypto network. The Ordi falling over 40% in seven days. And right? first, the is, what's an Ordi? Is that the NFT? Yeah, no. Well, you go over here. It's a token. It's the it's the Ordi Ordi token. Let me put it in here. Okay. But, um, it's I think it's like around sixty or seventy on the list or something. I don't know. Let's see. Wow. Ordi. Yeah, no, it's been crushing it, man. Um, still down though. There we go. Um, ninety nine. Oh, it was sixty or seventy. So it took a uh, took a hit, right? So this Ordi, and you can go there. Um, Ordi scan. It's all part of the you know the ordinal ordinal stuff inscriptions, right? But this is the token that represents it, you know. So um, let's see. Let's go back a month. Oh yeah. Oh, that's tough. Oh, yeah. that's a that's a crevice. <laughs> Everybody said, "Oh, Ooh. I don't even yeah, like that." You, know, you, you just go three months. Let's uh, let's go three months here. Oh, uh, it's just been going sideways for a bit. Yeah, but yeah, that was a big, that's, that's a big stinker. Yet. But there you go. Right. Uh, go back to uh, September. It was four dollars. How do you like yeah. that one? You should have got I didn't it. know anybody at that time to tell me to buy that. So I want to thank everybody for not telling me. Oh, okay. Oh, Swami. Thank you, Oh, Swami. There you go. <laughs> this guy. Hey, are you, are you entitled or no? I don't know. No, but I want somebody, you know, um, uh, Johnny Carson, when he used to put the envelope to his head. Yeah. With the, yeah. Yeah. With the thing. Yeah. You need to buy. Ooh, the amazing hey. Kreskin. Dog with hat. At point zero 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 one, buy it now. I nominate the FOMO head. That would be an amazing segment. Yeah, I would love that. I would love that FOMO head. I like it. We're gonna work on the. You need that. That's a great segment. Love it. Love yes. it. Welcome, Janeth. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate you. And then let's see. Let's get into this now, right? Bitcoin miners could dump five billion dollars in Bitcoin. After What's the having these paper hands, <laughs> it's not paper hands, FOMO. They're miners, right? They're That's in a lot it. Of money right there. That, well, it is a lot of money, I but they also need to, they need this to cover is, their energy costs. I what? can't eat that this up. This is Ray a Ray. story. This is a story to get people to sell. 
it, it could it's be, but story. still, miners do sell. It's not that's kind of how the whole thing works, right? Right, but they also know that every half. If you're a miner, you know that every having your your price goes up. Absolutely. It's, I mean, I I wonder what Grayscale is going to get out of this, knowing they they dumped all this stuff into the market the last few months. Right. They're going to get the vig from somewhere. Somebody's kid because they kept it down. I mean, if they if they held let, what they had. They, the market oh would goodness. be way higher than what it what is. They held? Yeah. If they well, held what they had, Bitcoin would already be like 120. Yeah. Gotcha. Good Look thinking. You. <laughs> there you go. So the overhang from this selling could last four to six months, explaining why Bitcoin might go sideways for the next few months, as it has done the following. Uh, uh, other past havings. It's, it's done this. This is not abnormal. But it is abnormal that we were at almost all-time highs um, before the halving, right? Um, it, it's still up there. I don't even know where we're at. What is it even at? Let's see. It's like at uh, 63, 64. Don't quote me. It's on 63. sale. 63, right? I mean, even if it was at 60, 68, just a little bit more, uh, 68, 69, yeah. I mean, that was its all-time high last year, right? right. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. It is uh it is crazy, but yes, these these uh this volatility is is a little bit of a, a roll. You know, the color in the charts for the past I should have bet on red. If we were on the roulette table, I'm just gonna bet red. Well, you could do the shorts, FOMO, but again, that's what's happening I, too. I, I got no money on that. I, I know, I'm just telling you that that's that is what's happening. I mean, they liquidate those uh those option people all, all the time, man. Um, so there you go, right? But uh, only six months later the rally starts. Bitcoin having. Most common happened and happened and happened and then there, there's the rally six months. So you're looking at the fall, September, October, it really starts picking up. But again, I think just like you guys, I think is as well think is that it's different, right? It is, it is different. And as, as those things, you just saw, like you said, Hong Kong, um, these places that are continuing to spin up ETFs. Um, there's a lot of a buy pressure. So I think we're good, man, but who knows, right? Who knows what these crazy people do? So here we go. Let me uh, let me let me put this. this is just different. Oh, um, this is a good one, Ray Ray. I watched bank, this earlier. The banking cartel, and this is oh. in Canada, right? If you didn't see this, Guys, kind of crazy. Down your sandwich. Put down your spaghetti. Put down <laughs> your Cheerios. This is why. Also, work. it's it's very important what's going on, man. I mean, because this this is not cool. Fiat is permissioned money, where the right to use it is determined by the banking cartel on behalf of the state of your government. Of whoever's in control, mm -hmm. right? Money you don't control 100% isn't yours. It's not your money. And this is about to show you exactly what you're talking about. Because my man was shocked. He's shocked. So let me mute myself and listen to this guy. This is a customer in Canada going to the bank and asking for $3,000 of his own money. I can't. Well, wait, I don't understand. What are you talking about? So I need to give you a bank draft. Oh, if you're gonna get cash, I will need an invoice for the car purchase. Why? No, I'd like to. It's for it, the car's payments for in cash. I know I can't. I can't use a bank draft. Are you buying from like a private? Yeah, it's private. Person? It's literally from my friend. From your friend? Yeah, but he wants it in cash. Can he give you like anything? Say you purchase it from him? No, I don't. You don't need that. I, bro, what is it? I'm only asking for three. What what is this? I, I it's my money. I'm allowed to withdraw from my own bank account. Yeah, so I can, he said I can that what's the maximum money. limit you can give a withdrawal to a customer? It's three thousand dollars on the day. You've already mentioned that multiple times. Yeah, not today. Why not today? Today I would need a bank draft or I would get an invoice. But why you don't so you need proof of what it is? Why is that? And why is yes. that? Why is that? Why do you need why do you need me to tell you what it is? Why do you need what kind of proof is that? I bring in a note. Like what how is that what is that gonna change? I don't understand. So that would you, know, you need to give my money. I'm not taking a bank job. I would like cash, please. Yeah, I will go to the Okay, wait, I'm just gonna sit here until you give me cash, so I'm not gonna leave. Okay, so you want to get to do? And then do what? What who am I waiting for? I can get the manager to talk to you. Well yeah, get the manager because this, this is un like, it's unbelievable. Oof, oof. I can't That hurts. Oof, oof is right. That's crazy, right? Um, you you put your money in a bank and uh, yeah. <laughs> you can't get it. Um, that I don't care what rules. I don't like. I said I know people say have have all this stuff with the anti money laundering stuff and all this garbage stuff, but that 
that's all that's there's something wrong with that man um it's the guy's money and they're not even giving him three thousand dollars and yeah. uh, you don't need to bring a note a doctor when he's gonna get a note from the guy saying yeah man i want cash what is, it, what is it his signature like a doctor's note um that's why this is important everybody what's going she, on she wanted an invoice she wanted an invoice. what do you mean an invoice <laughs> that's right. hey it's, just so you know this is real Oh, yeah. um, I deposited some money. It wasn't much. And the woman actually asked me where I got the money from. Yeah. And I told her the real answer, and I didn't want to tell her, but I told her OnlyFans. That's what my OnlyFans page. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, let's see. After that, she doesn't ask you anymore. Did yeah. you hear me say that? Did you? No, I did okay. say, I uh, watch this. I did say this. This actually works. Garage sale. Oh, there you go. Garage sale, right? Yeah, I had a really good garage sale. Thank you. <laughs> a really good garage sale. That's it, FOMO. I That's, like that. Yeah. So I'm letting you know. Just use the word garage sale, everybody. Yeah, but how ridiculous is it that you have to? What are you kid? Are you kidding me? Right? I mean, that's crazy. Um, yeah. you know, uh, it, it, it's getting really weird. Rules, like, if you if you would have bet on that earlier, going into a bank and them not giving you the money, you wouldn't take that bet. You'd be like, shut up. No. Right. But shut up. What are you talking about? I mean, how many views on that video right there? Because that's because that should go viral. Um, there's there's a many of them, right? So yeah. it's not it's not just this one. A lot no, of people not the original. Point seven thousand. Yeah. A lot, but yeah, but a lot of people have been pay, posting this. Yeah. this been and then I read the comments. He goes, "Hey, I live in Canada. This is real." Yeah, yeah. Imagine yeah. having your bank teller interrogate you before gaining access to your own money. I mean, what what did what do you, what do we where are we living, man? Right. That's why we're talking about this permissionless system. That's why we're talking about having custody of your assets. This is not custody when your stuff is sitting in a bank. And you're also not gaining um, any value, right? They are, they are liquidating. <laughs> They're killing you and just sucking your wealth from you. Have been doing it every year, right? At least 7 to 10%. And that's what's crazy. And you, everybody needs to start waking up. Again, why I titled it um, Fiat Zombies. Right, stop it! It's ridiculous, and um, you know, hopefully, this stuff, you know, starts to get wake people up. And this is, like I said, I was just—I uh, don't think I have my wallet connected. I don't, but th there's been several people just asking about even how to buy Bitcoin, right? And, and there's several ways to do it, right? Um, I know some people still use the centralized exchanges. I do myself as well. You know, you can do that. You can buy it on a Coinbase and then transfer it off into a Ledger Live. Um, you know, with, with your ledger, there's a couple of crypto Bitcoin wallets. There's many places that you can go and do this. And this is what it's talking about. Crypto exchanges. Um, many of them are the centralized ones and that's where you have to do know your customer and the any money, money laundering stuff where you're putting your ID, your driver's license, giving them your address, all of that kind of stuff. Right. And there you go. You got Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, all of these crypto.com, all of these places. Right. And here's the crypto and chaos talking about it. Right, it's my money. I want it now. Where's where's JG Wentworth? That's right. <laughs> and yes, little Jerry, it's it's crazy. It is crazy. If it wasn't so serious, it would be funny. Um, there's nothing that pisses me off more than the bank trying to tell me what I can do and can't do. A hundred percent, Larry. And that's that's what's getting wild, right? I don't care what you talk about politically. When you saw all that stuff in Canada, where the truckers were doing their their protest and they were they were peacefully just blocking up a city like you see other people that protest and do things and they stopped all their paypal payments right it is very much control and when you when you are in that system they can stop it at any time they want and you can say poo poo or whatever you want but you ain't going to get it right that guy didn't leave with his money and there you go now what he could have done is just closed his account and said you know what thank you i'm done right and you go somewhere else and it, 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 it would be great to go and use small local b banks, but there's not really many left. It's not many community banks left, right? That's why all that too big to fail, all that stuff back in the day um, was a bunch of garbage, right? Because now they're even too bigger, right? They're not, they didn't make them smaller. They made them bigger. Another way to get into Bitcoin is through those ETFs. I, I, I've heard many of people saying uh, how easy it is to start doing that now. If you have stuff in 401ks and you want to do that and manage it a little more, you, there's there's a way to do it. And I believe there's no tax uh, problems with that. But again, I'm not a, I'm not a, an accountant. So 
you go ahead and, and look into that. And then mobile payments. You can go through Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal. You can buy Bitcoin right on those those apps, right? But uh, um, uh, uh, some some of the problems that I heard is oh, that you, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but make you, sure can't, you... you can't get them off, right? Sure, that's They're on right. those, just like a centralized. You place. can liquidate it there, but you can't transfer it off. Correct, correct. Close but that's why, I, yeah, that's why a Coinbase is 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 good. There's nothing wrong with Coinbase. I'm much more, you know, a little bit more, you know, pleased with Coinbase now that I see BlackRock and all these ETFs using them. Right. They they would not use something that was, uh you know, but you never again, who knows. Right. And then peer to peer Bitcoin ma uh, markets, you can uh, Bitcoin owners via, via peer to peer platform, packs full Binance P2P and no one's. And listen, I've, I've never even really messed with any of this. Buy Bitcoin instantly. Claim my no one's ID. So I just opened that up. I, I don't even know. Right. And I like this. It's got a partner program. Right. <laughs> there you go. So it, it, affiliate program, right? That's exactly what that is. So I'm just saying, look at that's why it's cool to explore some of this stuff, right? Um, how does it work? Invite friends, send your unique citizen ID link or QR code with your friends and network to invite them to join on join you on no ones. Earn sats, earn percentages of trade fees for three levels of referrals. So it's just inviting people to Bitcoin, everybody. Sats. sats, there it is. That's exactly sats. We're talking sats, sats now. Sats. You only need to earn five dollars, five dollars USD worth of Bitcoin to transfer what you earned to your no one's wallet. And there you go. So that's cool. And like I said, I I didn't look into this. Hey, what, into what's it. a partner program, right? Yeah. It, it do, do I need ID to get that five dollars out? Yeah. Well, you'd have an, to an invoice. Up. Let me send you a link. Hold on. A, no, a note from my mother or something. <laughs> After this show. I'll send you a link and then I'll, I'll I'll square you away. But again, that's another way to get Bitcoin. Bitcoin ATMs, all right. That's that's different, right? You can go, you can Google, and I I mean I could do it right now. Let's just say oh, it comes up a lot, Ray Ray. I've seen this map one time before, Ray. Yes, you have, I know. And that's let's just crazy. say Bitcoin, Bitcoin ATMs. Oh, it's already up there. My bad. Tim, you're gonna free. I don't know if you've seen this, Tim. I was freaked when I seen it. Bitcoin ATMs. Yeah. Like, what? Atlanta. Jordan. It's like what? What? There we go. So what? you just do that, and now just hit on the map, and uh, there's Bitcoin ATMs everywhere, right? And you can okay. zoom in, and you know you can see, um, you know, ratings. Let's say this one in CoinHub, right? I'll click into it, and um, you know, there's directions, whatever you want to do, and all you do, you can put cash in there. Everybody, you put cash. And, uh, you know, you got your wallets. It'll, it's very easy to step by step on the screen. But that's how you can get into. And you can put it in and bring it out, everybody. It's not it's not that ridiculous, right? It's pretty easy. I feel like so, given the theme is saying, that's hot. <laughs> word. Word. He said yeah, word. Disgustingly amazing. Yeah, that's right. There you go. But interesting, right? And then look, look, Jerry, hold on. Um, here we go. Hi, everyone. Good to see you, Sabina. It happened to me. I loaned a family member 2000 and when they gave me a check, I could not cash it. They said I needed an account with their bank or I had to wait seven to 10 days uh, for it to clear. Wow. It's, yep. Crazy, man. It's crazy. That, 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 that happened to wash? me a month ago. Yep. What do you call that? The wash or something? <laughs> something float. like that. The float. The float. Hoping everyone, yep. M2 Hat Girl, thank you. Happy Monday to you. And Jerry Lilly, right? Good luck trying to pull money out of Coinbase. Now, I don't know, Jerry. Like, there's, you know, there's everybody has different experiences. I have not had any issues with Coinbase, right? Yeah, I got um, some money out. I took u. the $3 out because I was upset. $3? <laughs> <laughs> I paid $38 okay. to get the $3 out. <laughs> oh, it's it's up. It's coming up soon, but thank you, M2 Hat Girl. It's all good. But, yes, um, you know, there's there's many ways to get into Bitcoin. Uh, and then there you go. You can go to you can go to this guy. You can go to the guy, the middle guy, uh, if you want, right? If you're into that stuff, that's fine. Um, you can do eToro. You got Robinhood crypto. There's all kinds of different ways to do that. So again, um, the, I would I would really start looking into reputable wallets um, and and decentralized ones, right? Decentralized, um, even cold wallets, offline storage, things like that. So you know that's the best place. That's what you should be doing. 
Um, and look, he said, have you tried it lately? I have. I have. I'm probably about two weeks ago, Jerry. And, uh, you know, I don't know. But like I said, it's different. I don't know how long everybody's been doing it, but I've been on Coinbase for a good bit. And maybe by the ins and outs of that, um, continuing to, you know, do that kind of stuff, maybe that's, um, you know, has me a little bit of a legacy type thing. I don't know. My experience was like that guy at the bank. <laughs> I ended up closing the account at Coinbase. I can imagine, Jerry. What do you mean? What do you what do you mean? It's my money. It's my, yes. So, you know, there's other ones. I don't know. What do you use down then, uh, Jerry? You use crypto.com, Gemini. What are you using? Yeah. Yep. I, I agree. Crack. I agree, Charles. But yeah, this is uh we're just talking about, but yes, there you go. But um, yes, you use Kraken. Is that what you use, Tim? Yep. Kraken? Okay, there you go. Let's see. BTC ETH. Rise is Hong Kong Bitcoin ETF applicants say they've been approved. That's what you're just talking about there, Tim. Yep. Right. Um, they haven't made an official announcement. Have you seen that in that story or are they just saying it? Right. I don't know. No, they the, the approval was made when it starts is, a, is what we're waiting on. So here you go. China Asset Management, Basera Capital and other applicants, applicants post to social media platform WeChat. The, that they have been approved to list spot Bitcoin and Ether ETFs in Hong Kong. So that is a huge deal, right? It is because uh, there's there's uh, there's a lot of wealthy people over there. And again, um, they're very, very into technology. I can tell you that, <laughs> right? And again, a lot of people are building um, as well over there, right? But this is uh, the some of that other stuff. When we just started off, I want you to hear some more of what uh, Mark, Mark Yusko is saying, right? Let's let's listen. And uh, it's, it's another one that's pretty interesting. And uh, let's see, let me mute myself. Right, if all there was was spot Bitcoin, and you and I, right, if I wanted to sell you a Bitcoin, I actually had to have a Bitcoin. But that's not the case anymore. With futures, if I want to sell you a Bitcoin, all I have to do is write you a contract. And as long as I go get a Bitcoin before that contract settles, we're good. But if we cancel the contract before I have to go find a physical Bitcoin, and this is, so what's happening yesterday evening, two days ago, a couple of days ago, actually last Friday, you know, when, when Michael, and I won't say Michael's doing this, but he knows he's got to buy a bunch of Bitcoin because he just issued a bunch of debt to go buy Bitcoin. Would you rather buy at high prices or low prices? Low prices. I actually think it's, BlackRock, right? They have to buy lots of Bitcoin. Do you, do you follow um, what's a C15 Capital? It's a, a thing on, on a guy on Twitter. I think it's a guy. Maybe it's a girl. Um, I think it's called C15. Anyway, I should I should give the person credit. But they started tracking these hundred wallets that were kind of new right before the ETF launch. And there's this one. He calls him Mister 100. And again, I don't know if it's a guy or a gal, but Mister 100 who every day is buying, irregardless. And, and this morning he said he bought into the dip last night. Well, of course, my belief, that's somebody related to, it's probably not Larry himself, but somebody related to the BlackRock network. And if you knew that you had 10-ish. You think that is? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you never know who it is, right? You're muted anyways, too, Tim. But. He was just saying, yeah. right, that that could, you know, it, it, there's a lot of different ways that they could have been, you know, doing this throughout the whole, you know, time, right? I, I think, you know, they definitely do think ahead. It's not just some, uh, you know, but yeah, I mean, it could be also just a wealthy person that just knows and understands. Hundred, you you know what he's talking about, Mister One Hundred, right? He buys Bitcoin, a hundred Bitcoin every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just thought that was interesting. That's what Mark Cusco he's thinking. He's a uh, you know, getting down in the rabbit hole and just uh, looking at the uh, different wallets. So you know, it's just uh, it's just wild, right? Good, good for people that are. That Bu, uh, are... Bu Bukele die, buys daily. Does he do it every day? Yep. Oh, good for him. They switched over to uh, daily purchase. All right, that's awesome. Yep. So this is another thing because I've again I get people that they're that are texting and uh, again you know you see the dip. That's again why I love our group because. They weren't freaking out. A lot of people were texting like, hey, man, how do I buy Bitcoin? Or how do I do this? Or what, What you know, now that it's, it's dunked, you know, how, how can I just get it on a decentralized wallet, right? And I was explaining, you know, a little bit of wrapped Bitcoin. Now, 
if you're going to buy a, a whole lot of Bitcoin, probably not the best way to do it is with, with wrapped Bitcoin, right? So you're buying hundreds or even thousands of Bitcoin, might want to just buy real Bitcoin, right? Not saying that wrapped Bitcoin isn't, it's just, again, it's on the Ethereum blockchain Bitcoin. That's what wrapped Bitcoin is. But I did want to kind of explain this and go over this just a little bit. Um, you know, what is wrapped Bitcoin? Uh, because it is, it's on the Ethereum blockchain. It's an ERC-20 cryptocurrency token. And it is, it's as is, is, is intended to be back one to one. And and these are important words, intended, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, why that's important is because there it, you're you're becoming a little bit centralized when you're doing this because you are 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 counting on whatever this person who are, or or company or group that is backing this is that they that they have it think of the ftx stuff right this is why i'm saying this is why you really need to be you know you kind of understand all this right you are you are a little bit more centralized when you're doing this because you have to um believe that this is backed one to one Right. And I'm just I'm going to go to, like I said, go down and, and explain to you what I'm talking about. Um, the custodian that issues WBTC include centralized exchanges, right? Um, decentralized exchanges or a group of decentralized organizations, DAOs, that manage the token supplies and attempt to assure the Bitcoin backing the token remains matches the amount of WBTC. So the wrapping, again, we always talk about your, you know, it's not the word like staking. Over here, you got this Bitcoin, and then over here, they're going to create the W, the wrap Bitcoin on the Ethereum blockchain. So you have to trust that that person really did have this Bitcoin, right? That's what I'm saying. It's, it's just that you have to understand that. Um, I'm not going to go into why it was created. You know, it, it's just so it's used on Ethereum, right? Because you could do the liquidity pools. There's a lot of DeFi over in, in ETH. That's why they did it. Um, people would love uh, a Bitcoin to be um in a liquidity pool or or what they're doing right there as a staked um asset uh don't really know about going on this is another thing to be you know concerned about and understand the bridges the bridging between bitcoin and ethereum are are also where that there's vulnerabilities okay if you ever hear somebody getting hacked or this thing get liquidated or they lost 280 million dollars usually sometimes it's in these bridges right because those aren't on chains those aren't a blockchain. They're a little connection between the two blockchains. And that's why, again, it's not as secure. So, I'm, I'm again, I'm just kind of explaining this, some of this stuff to you. So just, re and this is where I'm going to wrap it up here. This is the difference between uh, Bitcoin and wrapped Bitcoin. Um, it's, you can see it's the same chart, right? It's the same chart, same thing. Same things with the prices. Um, another key difference between Bitcoin and wrapped Bitcoin is the level of decentralization. Bitcoin is fully decentralized and operates on a trustless peer-to-peer -peer network, and that's called the Bitcoin network. Wrapped Bitcoin, on the other hand, relies on a group of custodians to hold Bitcoin reserves that back the WBDC. So there you go. And there, what I was talking about, I went through the potential vulnerabilities, right? So this was interesting. I thought I should show you this chart, right? This is the history of all world reserve currencies, right? 80 years was was portugal from 1450 to 1530 right it was a 80 years for that fiat to exist and live uh build up period for for this one here port uh the, this is spain 110 years from 1530 to 1640 this fiat currency lasted then you get up to here uh you got the netherlands was only 80 years 1640 to 1720 france 95 years, 1720 to 1815. And then Britain, the great pound, uh, 105 years to, eight, to 1815 to eight, uh, 1920. And then here we are, US, America, 110 years, 1920. And they got the end date as 2030, right? And uh, it might be sooner, might be later, who knows? But here you go, the next one. And they're talking, it's global, right? And it's decentralized. And there you go. They don't know 2030 to whatever. And they got it all the way to 21, whatever. But that's interesting, everybody. This is, they don't have more than a hundred year lifespan. That's literally what it really is. Um, and that that's pretty, pretty interesting is what I'm saying. <laughs> you should know we're, we're a little over. It's 110 years, right? I, that's why I wanted to talk about this stuff because this is, this is real. 
Um, and this switchover is going to happen, right? I'm not giving you, let me put up, I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm just telling you the history of what happened to fiat currencies, right? And and this one is really, 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 really getting overinflated, right? They print it like this guy. Um, do I have it up here? Wait, I got it. Let me put it. I got this nice little thing. This is what's happening to your money. Flooded the system with money. Yes, we did. That's another way to think about it. We did. Where does it come from? Do you just print it? We print it digitally. So we, you know, we as a central bank, we have the ability to create money uh, digitally. And we do that by buying treasury bills or, or bonds or other government guaranteed securities. And that, that actually increases the money supply. We also print actual currency and we distribute that through the Federal Reserve Banks. So he said, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and listen, I, I I would like to go back through the history of all this stuff and wonder, um, you know, how did how did it kind of uh, peter out, right? Were they kind of printing? Were they doing this stuff like that? Was it always like that? Is that what everybody kind of does, and that's why they don't last? Because this is what's different about this one, everybody. And even then, I, I mean, I I see that they got you know times up there, but there's something else that could come along, and now Bitcoin is just kind of for the, the 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 wealthy, right? And it's just like a like a gold standard or something like that. And something else is more used as a monetary system, right? Um, who knows? Uh, no one knows. Uh, so like I said, it's just interesting because this is a cap supply. It is a sovereign, you know, type of money. No one owns it. There's no country that is in control of it. There's no Federal Reserve that can manipulate it. There's no army that'll go beat you up because you're not using it. It's just a currency. It's pretty neat. It's uh, unique. So, like I said, it's uh, you know that's what's kind of cool about this. So buy Bitcoin because your wealth is melting away. It really is, right? This is this is happening, and you should understand, um, you know what what's going on here. But you know down here, I'm not going to read it for word for word. I got some other things just to kind of go through with this, but. Uh, Bitcoin is making waves as a solid option for, for saving money in today's world. According to a recent study, and this is by this article here called Unchained right here, right? This study points out that uh, Bitcoin's special features, like it's very limited and unchangeable supply, like I was just saying, makes it a standout choice for investments, especially when compared to more traditional assets like stocks and, and, and gold, right? Um, this guy, uh, Joe Burnett right here, okay? He, he's the one that wrote this article for Unchained, um, calls this the innovation trap. And that's what he's calling this thing right here, right? Um, this is where too much of a good thing like innovation leading to more products and services actually starts to lower their value. As these products and services become cheaper uh, to make and more abundant, the assets that were invested in them start to lose their value. This makes it tough to save for a future uh, since the value of these assets, it keeps dropping. Right. It, it really it does. And uh, Bitcoin offers a solution uh, because it's designed to avoid these, this trap. Unlike regular money, such as the U.S. dollar, which has lost much of its value over the last few years, Bitcoin supply can't be increased at will. This scarcity helps it maintain value over time. And again, that's why it's different. There is nothing like this in the world. And you can't even say gold is like that. Um, the report that he went through on here uh, shows that just holding cash or investing in things like real estate, gold, or assets and stocks isn't as safe as it used to be. These assets are losing value uh, they're, they're because uh, they can be produced abundantly uh, now thanks to technological advancements. For example, the production of gold right, has skyrocketed over, over the years, which dilutes its, uh, its value. I mean, it's been going up, you know, kind of a little bit right now because of all this, you know, crazy stuff with the war. Um, but, you know, uh, they can go get um, more. But as we look towards Bitcoin's next halving, where the numbers of new Bitcoins created and earned by miners will be cut in half, its scarcity and appeal as a form of saving uh, are expected to increase even more. And it, and it is. I think uh, after this halving, we're going to see um, some really good price movement. <laughs> Uh, Michael Saylor, let me find him on here. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of just going through some stuff here. Uh, let's see. Oh, so yeah, I just look at this. This is what I was talking about. This is monetary properties of different assets. Uh, Bitcoin checks them all off, man. It's kind of crazy. 
Uh, that's why he, uh, you know, Michael Seller always calls it uh, this this thermodynamically superior asset. He does it all the time. I like like because it's true. And then you know, crypto in general, uh, not all crypto is scarce, right? There's there's some that the 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 devs or anybody could just print more. Uh, fungible. Um, they're not all crypto. Fungible, portable. Most of it is all portable. Uh, durable, low, high with crypto. And then you look at this stuff. I mean, it's uh, it's it's you know, gold is pretty good, but it's not portable. And then USD, uh, low with the scarce because uh, they just heard the guy, they can print it. Yeah. And uh, you know, even this portable thing, um, it's not that portable. Look what that bank just did to that person, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's that's not cool, right? So, just like I said, just thought this was interesting, and this is what I was talking about. Uh, he's a well-known supporter of Bitcoin. Also, believe it's it's better than other investments, according to Burnett. Sticking to older ways of saving could uh, put you at a disadvantage as others as others uh, who adopt Bitcoin. It's going to outperform um, in a great way, right? I mean, that's what we believe. That's what I believe. It's just going to outperform it, right? And um, you know, anybody that's in those kind of uh, you know fiat stuff, you you need to start looking at what's going on over here. Let's see here. Financial sovereignty unleashed. How Bitcoin empowers uh, financial sovereignty and and. It is important. I know a lot of people, it's weird how we get lulled into like how they, they should just be able to take privacy, right? They should be able to ask you all these type of questions because everybody, you, you got to see how the roles have been, re, you know, reversed. You know, they, they, and you hear people say this all the time, like it's just kind of a saying, you know, they work for us. They really do. It's supposed to be like that, right? And that's, that's, <laughs> it's, it's weird how we just keep giving up, um, all control, right? And there's no reason for it. They they don't control us and they shouldn't ever control us, right? They, again, they work for us and they don't obviously uh, know everything because their expert opinion has sucked the past decade. Yeah. It's, it's not been good. And I can, I'm sure any of it, no, go ahead. Longer, longer than that. I mean, you, you, you show the value of the dollar just keep going down since uh 1970 i mean it yeah. just you know it peaked back then and yeah. uh and has gone steadily it's, it's worth 92 percent of what it was when it was created so you know it's 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 virtually worthless but still everybody's trading in it 100 percent. but that's why you know real estate values are going to go up but they're not really going up you just need more of this stuff they've been printing all over the place to come and get it i mean You've heard stories of other countries that have crazy inflation and they go to buy a loaf of bread with a wheelbarrow full of, you know, useless paper because, yeah. you know, it takes that much, um, yeah. you know, so it, it doesn't it doesn't make sense when they're just going to keep printing it and pushing it into the system. Then, you know, if they're going to give it to everybody, then then it makes it worthless. Yes. Yeah. Why more Republic? That's exactly right. Yeah. They're doing wheelbarrows. Yep. But again, this is uh, the big thing, you know, protection against censorship. Listen, I was looking at the stuff from China, right? There, there are people live in those cities already, everybody. Um, they have to have permission to move um, in and out of their cities. <laughs> mm -hmm. And when you can control the money, you definitely control uh, the population. And it's, it's, it's crazy. That's, we can't let it get to this type of situation. And then, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I was just going to go back to China. You you saw that story I sent you about China and Hollywood. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they control they control everything that comes out of Hollywood because they have a gigantic market of billions of people that want to see a movie. They will not let you print anything negative, remotely negative about China. Right. In a, in a movie. Well, and, that, uh, that's like Top Gun. Yeah, that, that's why Tom Cruise. It was a big deal for what he did. They he removed had the Ta flags on his jacket. Yeah, yeah, he had the Taiwan um, a patch on his jacket, and he yeah. said, "No, I'm not going to re remove it." So they didn't play Top Gun in China, but guess what? It was still super successful, right? It was one of the biggest movies back in what is it, 2022 or 2023, whatever it was. Yeah, right. It was a huge movie, right? But people just need to start having a backbone, man, and and that's that's the thing that's starting to you know be, be missed. But I think it's coming back. Um, but we need to start. <laughs> Start being bold and stand for things, right? And stop being so wishy-washy. And that's, like I said, hopefully uh, people start taking all this serious. This is not just about getting rich. And, you know, but it's a great benefit, 
right? But we have to stand behind what, 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 what we believe, right? You have to believe in it and you have to actually um, walk it out, right? You can't be wishy-washy. Resilience against economic instability. That's another one that's huge, right? We, we are at the whim of the Federal Reserve and they're not federal and they have no reserves, right? They are not a government agency. They don't, they aren't a government. They ain't nothing part of a government, right? And we have to live under whatever they're doing with the money, right? Whatever they printed, whatever they raise interest rates, whatever they're doing, that's where this, again, you don't have to do that. Under Bitcoin, you know all the rules. You know all the rules. You know the halvings. You know who's moving it. You know who's buying it. All the transactions are transparent. You know it. And that's why, again, this is different. You know, like I said, this is a big deal. And then another beautiful thing, empowerment and inclusion. That's another thing that we are big into and uh, we, we, we think is going to be awesome because everyone has a phone and we're going to be able to finally include uh, third world countries that have been excluded for, for all of their lives, right? Uh, and there are a lot of smart people all over the world and, and we're losing out on a lot of um, innovation, right? So hopefully this opens up and uh, like I said, it becomes this amazing new type of system. And that's what I'm, you know, that's the main thing that kind of pushes me. And uh, how Bitcoin enables financial sovereignty. There we, again, all these words we know, decentralization, security and privacy, and accessibility, right? I do not like when a bank can just tell you no, and it's your money. You put it in there. That's, it, that's not, that's an, it's, it's ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous. I can't go into any more than that. So I can't say it, right? Why and yeah, of course, why governments are wary of Bitcoin, right? It's it's taking them out of the the whole you know equation. Governments around the world are watching Bitcoin warily because it's a potential to upend existing financial system and undermine their role in it. Yes, right. They shouldn't be in the money system. I mean, literally, our government is supposed to just keep us secure and get out of the way, right? That's literally there's not that much that they're supposed to be doing, and it's not supposed to be all federal. Right, we are a republic. I hate when people talk about democracy. We aren't a democracy. We're a republic, and each one of these fifty states are individual labs, and they should be free to do whatever they want to do. And when people move and they go to other states, you know your lab is 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 failing. Right, your lab and what you're doing sucks. So that's what's going on. That's what it's supposed to be. Again, hopefully it fixes and corrects all this stuff. Um, and it it, it presents three challenges to government authority. It cannot be regulated, criminals use it, and it can help citizens circumvent capital controls. Absolutely, mm -hmm. right? And you're free to go wherever you want, right? Right? Because you can have it on a ledger, you got it in your pocket, or you might not have it on anything. It's just in your head, right? Those keys are sitting right in your head. What are they going to do? Right? It, it is amazing. That's why I said it's a big deal. I love it. I love what's going on over here. So again, just here, how can cryptocurrency protect uh, against inflation, um, demand? And I'm not going to go. These are just different types of inflation, everybody. Um, and, and that's what here, we need to put. Here, here, Ray, just, yeah. just do this. They, that's right. There, there's your answer. That's the answer. It is. V very amazing visual. And that is true. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, what is that? that? Look at that car that you have now, right? Absolutely. Crazy. Crazy. You know, get I'm sorry, guys. I was bar backing, busting. I'd just like to give you a little sample. Yeah. $100 bill. That's right. $100 bill. Okay. If you just leave this in the mattress, it's less 7% a year. Okay. Just so you understand, it's 7% right there. And then the next year, I'll just let you know, it's <laughs> another 7.5%. Okay. Do you understand? It's not what it used to be. It it's not, there's no value. You go three years, you're losing 21. percent Oh, that's right there. Do you see that? It's 21. Yeah. It's it, look. You've lost this. You can't even get no Bitcoin with it. It's right. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's gone. You can, you don't leave this value. It's it's it's. I'm just letting you know, guys. That that is true. That's a great. I love the visual, Fomo. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know. And you know from our sailor guy, his his house. Appraised for a hundred thousand. Remember that one? Really? Yeah, yeah. And what was it appraised in, well, in now? I'll go with it right now. I got it. You want me to bring it up? Yeah, bring it up. It's very important. Everybody understands this. You have to be hit in the face. Yes. You have to understand it. 
you're you're not you're not woo in my house. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. this is Pay not attention. it. Right, listen. Right, uh, my my house in Miami Beach was a hundred thousand dollars in 1930. It was appraised at forty six million dollars a few years ago. <laughs> Do the calculation. It's on a path to be worth $100 million, which means that the U.S. dollar will have lost 99.9% .9 of its value over 100 years. Warren Buffett knows this. Charlie Munger knows this. Basically, your, the bottom line there is your money in the bank isn't money. Okay, so the answer is you shouldn't have any money in a bank, right? You're, you're basically losing 7% of all your wealth every year in a good year. If it's the dollar, you're losing 15% of your wealth. It's 100%. And, and I think we should not, not end it like we'll just close it out. But you had that great cartoon, The Beauty of Bitcoin, right? Yeah, I'm just explaining to you before I look. Yeah. Four years later, it's another 7.5%. You're losing money. This is not money. It's paper. That's it's right. nothing. Yes. Get in some Bitcoin today, ladies and gentlemen. Not financial advice. Not financial. This is being recorded, just so you know. But, it could yeah. be recorded. It's uh, it's not even my money I'm ripping up because it's not mine. We all know I can't even get my money out of the bank. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And, and it is, this is a cool cartoon explaining uh, Bitcoin. And I, I want to play it. And then we'll wrap it up, right? I, I mean, this is a good one. So so take a listen. I mean, it's a great way of explaining what, you know, what's going on. When money is easy to make, society begins to break. So how do we make money that's easy to carry but hard to create? Well, one solution is Bitcoin. Back in 2008, I became fed up with government money, with the corruption, the manipulation. So I created a digital currency. Digital money that can be sent directly from one person to another without any bank or government involved. And the best part? It's hard money. It's the hardest money ever invented! Bitcoin is very hard to make more of. Each new coin gets added to the supply only after a computer works very hard to solve a math problem, where there's no shortcut and solving it costs a lot of energy and time. Okay, but if it's on a computer, can't I just copy and paste? Huh? <laughs> Not with Bitcoin. You see, there's a public record of every Bitcoin ever created. It's called the blockchain. It's like a puzzle, and each Bitcoin has its own unique shape. And because everyone has a copy of the public record, if someone tries to fake a Bitcoin, it won't fit the puzzle and will be rejected by the network before anyone can use it. That's why Bitcoin is so safe from criminals and the government. <laughs> you said criminals twice. And unlike dollars, which can be printed endlessly, there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. It's almost impossible to inflate. The only way to get it is to earn it or buy it from someone who has. Aha! Only two ways to get it. Earn it or buy it. It's crazy. He said, he said criminals twice. He said criminals twice. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. There you go. And, uh, you know, it is. It's, that's the way to understand, man. I mean, this is a, it's a big deal. And, um, you know, like I said, I love, I love where we're at and, um, uh, you know, that's it. Let me see me drop this back down. Cause we're at the, we're at the nine Oh four mark and we got it. We have to get Bobbin. Bobbin, uh, it's going to be a blast tonight, right? Going to be fun. Going to go learn. And plus, yeah, we'll probably have some good mobs. Uh, some of the people, some, maybe some normies, maybe some, uh, not, not, uh, straight up, uh, crypto heads. Uh, they're going to be talking about what's going on, right? Cause this is, a uh, this is quite a crash. Not saying you know it's not uh, easy, but uh, this happens all the time, and the, and the volatility is not you know something to be freaked out about, right? This isn't even a big one, right? I mean, it's what fifteen percent. I mean, I think that's what we're talking about around fifteen percent. Yeah, it's kind of weak, right? Imagine a thirty percent day, right, or thirty percent weekend. No, I right? can't remember. I don't want to have any rope marks. Oh, you rope man. marks. Calm down. <laughs> yes, but. Hey. Uh, I just want to yeah. let you know, too, Ray. Look what the app says. If everybody Ooh. says when we say follow the mob, follow the mob, go to that, you know, you go to it, and we're going to head over there, but you're going to go through the app. You're going to go through the app right there. It's very there you exciting. Go. Love yeah, it. Absolutely. Exciting. Love it. Love it. And, and we got, uh, yeah, no, it's all good. I love that. Thank you, man. The app is awesome. It is. And you get, you do. If you haven't uh, checked in, make sure you check in. You get those, uh, those cool power stamps, right? Hey, Saudi, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. And there's Lou listening to the wise guys making noodle soup. Love it. And yes, thank you, Lou. 
smash the like button, right? Um, you know, get it. It, it helps out the channel. Um, we get a lot of good, um, you know, views and, and it helps with the algorithm. Gets us out there and um, seen. So I appreciate it. Smash that like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. You guys always bring your A-game. Thanks for keeping us all in for. Appreciate you all. Thank you, M2 and Nomers. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Happy week, Bellos. Glad is Monday is to see. Yes, thank you, Marisha. You're always awesome. I love when you go up on stage, Marisha. You're a fireball, and you get everybody pumped. That's what I'm talking about, Marisha. Stability equal wise guys. You the man, Stephen. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you watching. Ray, you are speaking. That's right, Connie. I mean, it is. It's it's what we what's our whole thing? Is enough is enough, man. It really is. Um, and people need to wake up, and I appreciate you, Connie. Thank you. Sadia, yes, learning so much. Thank you. Thank you. No, that's good. I, uh, we'll keep uh, keep it going. Um, is hat sacks? Is that hat sacks? <laughs> so Deborah, you're crazy, Deborah. Any Bitcoin samples available? Oh, oh, he wants some samples. <laughs> Here's a sample for you, brother. <laughs> so it's fifty percent off. Hey, put it in the ATM. Half of it. There you go. Yeah, fifty yeah. percent off. That's a fifty dollars right there, ladies there and gentlemen. Go. There you go. Great night, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Connie. Appreciate you, and thank you for a great show. Thank you, Nido. You're awesome. Thank you for all you do. And uh, thanks for the drink up. Yes, Janet. That is uh, like the most oh, important yeah. thing. Out of all this stuff, um, that's like I said, this is very cool because, um, you know, the, the way that we have the this eco. Oh, that's you, Tim. That's you. I thought yep. that was you. I'm closer to the there, right? You got the whole world. Let me. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't get one of those. What? I didn't get a cup. I'm just letting you know it's not an important thing. I got to go. After I hit RSVP, you're just getting a go. And you're just going right over to the space. Well, you don't get one. I didn't. I'm just letting you know I didn't qualify this time. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't qualify this time. I got, no, a stamp. I got a stamp for the show we're on tonight. Yes. There you go. What? But yeah. like I said, this is, this is uh, you know, to, to me, even more important. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff being built by a lot of people that you don't know, you know, kind of what's what's fully um, going on uh, with all kinds of different companies and Web3 places and what they're doing. Um, like I said, this is incredible as well. And like I said, the, the, the ecosystem and, and some of the cryptocurrencies in there, I think have uh, amazing potential and we're going to do uh, amazing things. But yeah, check out the map. Get on there. Um, I didn't get one either. Oh, FOMO. So it is. A, it's a thing, man. It's a thing. Yeah, just Look at you. Know. Oh, I'm here to give you information and data. They're messing with you, FOMO. They don't can, want you to have can anything. I, can, I, can I say something for FOMO? Sure. Yeah, can you please? You can always do something for me, Tim. All right, here it is. FOMO, you would step back from that bed, my friend. You're killing me. <laughs> you know what kind of weekend it was? It's uh, just letting you know. Don't forget glove and care. During the stress, your hands do dry out. Grab Love and Care over on Amazon. It's not an affiliate link. I don't make any money. Look, this is the best hand lotion ever. Hey, look, the audience is helping you out. FOMO, swipe down. Refresh your page after you RSVP. Okay, swipe let down. me uh, – I appreciate that. Let me uh, let me take a look. Pay attention to the time. The show starts in order to get it. Oh, look at – pay attention to the time. That's right. Fomo. You see you that? You can't you can't yeah. collect until the show starts. You got the audience uh, kind of letting us know. So, yeah, 910. We got to wrap it up. Appreciate that, Larry. Thank you, thank you. Has uh, has to be in a live tab, Fomo. Opus AI. You know, I didn't know the show got moved to 910. I apologize. I didn't get the message. It's not live yet. I would go, look, a lot of people trying to help you. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's not live yet. Bob says to 910. Thank you, thank you. It's all 910. good. 910. I love it. Man. 910. I love, hey, there you go. And that, hey. that we got to wrap it up then, you know? Just remember. And just so everybody knows, I'll be burning the rest of my money this year. I'm just going to be burning it all. Love it, love it. Moving it over, moving it over to Coinbase, ladies and gentlemen. Do do the do the great. Oh look, everybody. Oh look, look. It's it's going off. We somebody's it, getting it now. It's all over. Okay, and that's why I love. This is interactive. Real people checking in. Right. Let's wrap. Oh, it up. there it is. I got to check in now. Right while we're live. Heading over check to the in. mob. Make sure you do the great migration. Get over to. Oh, I did get a wine glass, Ray. <laughs> Here it comes out of Connecticut. There you go, Connecticut. Get out, get over there. Shout out of Phoenix. There you go. Make sure you mob and mobbing is the mob is the alpha. Get in there and uh you know you let's, look, let's, let's listen to the space. Line. Let's see what others are talking about, right? Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, Taco Tuesday. Right? I love Happy you guys. Monday. Love you, man. Have a good go one. Get it. Appreciate it. Get it going.